Horror films are supposed to get your adrenaline pumping, but for some, these thrills are just too much to handle. It may sound like a clever bit of marketing, but physical reactions to these movies have indeed required medical professionals to treat moviegoers at the hospital or the scene of the scare. Here are a few films with fictional frights intense enough to cause real-life physical trauma. The Exorcist Let's start with a classic. If you've never seen The Exorcist, then you've probably never known true cinematic horror. Still shocking by even today's sensibilities, the film had quite an effect on people who first saw it in 1973. Local news reports from the time mentioned people crying, throwing up, and even fainting. We have a lot of people throwing up and a lot of people shuddering, but the thing that really surprises me is people faint. I mean, I have never in my life known a movie where people would faint. The Exorcist may have been the first, but it certainly wasn't the last. For example, Good Night Mommy, an Austrian film about 10-year-old twin boys whose mother has just had facial reconstructive surgery, doesn't sound all that scary. But once mommy comes home all bandaged up, she seems to be a wholly different person and exudes a cold, severe aura. While 2015's Good Night Mommy is mostly a psychological horror, the latter half of the film is full of violence, and some people can't handle it. In an interview with IndieWire, the director says early screenings proved the filmmakers were onto something, saying, quote, two people fainted. That's the best compliment we've had so far. Bite. Have you ever heard the one about the woman who turned into an insect after getting bit by one? Well, that's the premise of the 2015 body horror movie Bite, and the impact it had on moviegoers is no joke. At the Fantasia International Film Festival premiere, audience members were given barf bags as a gag, but some people reportedly had to make use of them. That's not all. First to Know reports a few people even passed out in the theater, and at least one ambulance was called to the scene. Saw 3 by the time we got around to the third Saw in 2006, you'd have thought fans would have built up a tolerance to all of the gross, violent images from the first two films. Obviously, this was not the case, as the BBC reported that moviegoers in a few UK theaters fainted and emergency services were called out three times in one night because of the film. A woman in her 20s even needed to be hospitalized after apparently fainting with fright, while others were treated at the scene. Raw. The 2016 cannibal film Raw premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival and wasted no time in making filmgoers faint and vomit. The Guardian reported that paramedics had to be called in because the realistic biting and chewing of human flesh, plus all the gory lacerations and wounds, were all too much for some audience members who fainted in their seats. So, not a good choice for dinner and a movie. The Green Inferno Another cannibal movie capable of getting folks to faint is Eli Ross' The Green Inferno, which features a group of activists who crash land in a jungle and have to survive captivity at the hands of a cannibalistic tribe. Par for the course for an Eli Roth movie, The Green Inferno is full of graphic images, gratuitous gore, and body mutilation. Oh, and of course, all the people-eating. Can't forget about the people-eating. An article on New Zealand's News Hub said a woman fainted during a screening in France, and Ross shared the news on Instagram, clearly thrilled by the glowing review. The Human Centipede 2 Movie Line's Jen Yamato wrote about her experience at the premiere of The Human Centipede 2 at Fantastic Fest in 2011, and how festival founder Tim League joked about there being EMTs on hand in case people got sick. Like the barf bag gag at the bite premiere, this joke ended up being less funny when it came true. The person sitting next to Yamato filled two barf bags and eventually fainted, and two ambulances were called to the scene to tend to audience members. VHS an anthology of scary stories that debuted at Sundance, 2012's VHS certainly had an effect on viewers at the festival. The first night, a woman left the theater in tears because she reportedly couldn't stand the tension and suspense. And according to co-writer Simon Barrett, paramedics had to treat two audience members at a midnight screening who suffered seizures and started vomiting. That sounds awful. But the good news is that these two troopers decided to go back and finish the film anyway, which is just about the best review a horror flick can get. If you're watching this, don't! Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.